A phoenix has risen from the ashes. After a long two seasons in the face of adversity and focusing on her mental health, blocking the naysayers, haters, media, and the like, she rose above it all with grace. That girl that was hated so much for what happened in 2021 was crowned world champion in the 100 meters in a championship record of 1065. This has been a long time coming. Short memory in this business. Okay, the semifinal didn't go well. You made even better by the fact that she did it from the outside lane. Much respect to Dennis Mitchell for a job well done. Shakari beat the very person that made fun of her, while this young lady appeared to have lost her cool due to the negative comments from the naysayers, including the Jamaican trolls. After not being able to compete in the Olympics where she was in her best shape and ready to take on the top echelon of women's short sprints, it was clear that Shakari was not mentally present as such, lost the race by a significant margin. Today, we can't say the same. The roles have been reversed. She took down Sharika for the third time this season, and Shelly Ann, for one reason or another, didn't get to face Shakari during the season prior to Worlds. It appears that the meets Shelly Ann participated in were carefully chosen to avoid big names so that she would be able to win those races with ease. Sort of like a PR strategy. The 200 meter prelims were held early this morning and Shakari Richardson was in heat two along with Marija Zaytalou. Shakari easily cruised to a 22.16 ahead of Marija Zaytalou. Once again, Shakari produced the fastest time of the 200 meter prelims much as she did for the 100 meters. The semifinals are now set to take place tomorrow, and Shakari Richardson, Sharika Jackson, and Marija Zetalou will once again face off in the same heat. Considering the 200 meters does not require the best of starts, and knowing Talou sees best in the 200 meters in comparison to that of Shakari and Sharika Jackson, one can surmise that Talou will be out of this one and have to qualify on time. We strongly believe that Shakari Richardson will also win the 200 meters in these world championships. Most of Shakari's notoriety has been based on the 100 meters. However, most people seem to count her out in the 200. Well, up until this year, her personal best was 22 flat but it was evident that her personal best would fall this year, and indeed it did. Sharika Jackson and Gabby Thomas are both very prominent 200 meter runners, considering their times are in the mid 21 seconds. But people must acknowledge Shakari as she has shown tremendous improvement in that event. In the Nairobi Kenya meet, she threw down a 2207 shutting down from 15 to 20 meters out. At the U.S. trials, she surprised everyone, including herself, with a one dated 2161. She was also shutting it down in that prelim race. When you get in the blocks, you know, for your race, are you aware that she carried around like 2161? Yes! I'm so happy for her! I was able to sit on the TV, and I was like, 21 shutting down? Based on her splits in the final, compared to that of the prelims in the U.S. Nationals, it appears that Shakari was looking to do something big. However, on observation, she just didn't have the same charge as she did in the prelims, perhaps due to the various rounds from both the 100 meters and the 200 meters. Her start was quicker at 2.13 seconds in the first 10 meters, and at 60 meters she split 7.06 compared to the 7.16 from the prelims. 
Where she began to slow down was at about 120 meters or so. Had she continued as she did in the prelims, we would be seeing a 21.4 or 21.3. At Oval Supreme, we believe Shakari will be able to throw down a serious time. We haven't seen one yet, mostly due to her celebrating or just backing off, as she did when she ran the 2207 in Kenya and the wind dated 2161 in the prelims of the U.S. Nationals. She managed the rounds in the 100 meters quite well. The only hiccup was the start that caused her to move on to the final, based on her time. If Shakira can replicate the managing of the rounds as she did in the 100 meters, the finals will be a nail biter. But of course, Shakari will once again come out on top of the podium, thereby scoring the 100 and 200 meter double. A feat that in our opinion, will put her in the conversation of being one of the greats considering how young she is. Remember that aside from saying she's not back, she's better, that she also said she's not here, here to, to stay. stay. I'm not back, I'm better. Those Flojo records will be coming down quite soon, courtesy of Shakari Richardson. For the 200 meters, maybe even in these world championships. Since Shakari has already taken the 100 meters, do you think that she can take the 200 meters as well, making it a double? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Till next time.